This video is going to show you how to upgrade the hard disk in your Humax PVR or personal video recorder. Or more advanced, you can install a removable hard disk tray as you can see here. This, um, this machine is a, it's a Humax um, PVR 9200T, uh, but the, the procedure should be much the same for a um, 9150 or a 9300 model. And the principle is that you can you can change the hard disk in a PVR like this in the same way as in a personal computer. So you can you can put a you can have more than one and swap them over, or you can put a bigger one in. If you look at the back here, all that's been done is that the the data cable, which is normally very short inside, has been extended using an, a normal computer hard drive cable and the, the power lead has also been extended using a little an extender cable that you can get from somewhere like Maplin the normal PC upgrade parts. So the advantage of this system is that when the when the Humax is powered off completely or is in standby like this you can slide the latch which unlocks the drive tray and turns the power off to the drive then pull out the drive and slide it out then you can you can slide another tray with a, another drive in if you had a, a system of different drives for different types of programs so what you would be able to do is to install a second drive carrier as shown here on the right and put that into the computer you can either put it into the computer box or use one of these USB to IDE converter gadgets that's, that makes it work like a USB external drive and then you can take the take the drive tray out of the out of the Humax drive tray and put it into the computer drive tray and you can then use a there's a bit of software you can get off the internet it, it's called it's called uh, 9200 treadfiles.exe and that lets you read files from the Humax disk and you can then you can transfer them onto your computer where you can archive them or edit them so so it's a way of you can once you've got it off the Humax drive you can you can delete it and free up some space on the Humax but you can have it in a in a library on your on your computer on an external USB drive or something like that this is a Seagate DB 35.3 which is a it's a version of a, the one that goes in the computer is a Seagate 7200 Momentus. Um, and the, this is a, a version of that, especially for PBR. But I, I've used a normal computer one without difficulty. The difference seems to be, I think the older drives, um, with the older drives, some of them wouldn't, they didn't have any functionality to, to power down when you, when the machine goes into standby so the drive would carry on um, whirring away. Talking of which, some people complain that the that the the, hard, the noise from the hard disk on their Humax is is quite intrusive um, if it's on at night in a or or in a quiet room. I had this problem but um, pretty much solved it by putting the putting the Humax on a it's just a a piece of um, camping mat, like caramats foam, um, and that cuts down the noise dramatically, so that it's it's not a problem anymore. This is the Humax with the lid off. Make sure you turn the Humax off at the mains before opening the cover, because there are dangerous voltages inside. So the original Humax setup looks like this. This is the hard disk. You've got a very short ribbon cable just here and a short power connector. So all we're doing is we're taking this power connector and adding an extension onto it and taking out this ribbon cable and putting this much longer one into the same socket. There is a there's a red line on the side of the ribbon cable so just make sure that goes in the same as the other one. So the original Humax setup looks like this which is then replaced by this setup with the longer ribbon cable installed and the power cable having an extender fitted 
and these both run into the connectors on the back of the the hard disk drive tray which is all completely standard um, personal computer stuff so you, you're just attaching that into the correct slots inside the Humax so it's actually a very simple it's just a two cable modification that goes that fits into the sort of grommet hole for the power cable and the ribbon cable will, can just go over the back and then you can pop the cover back on um, and the cover will fit so you pop the cover back on and um, here you have the the finished product with its clean lines and its um, matching colour scheme this is the drive tray here it has a fan installed um, which really isn't necessary if the, if the thing is open to the air. I found the fan noise to be quite intrusive. If you just pull off this little connector here, um, then the fan um, doesn't work and just tuck, tuck the wire out of the way. That, um, <coughs> it makes it a lot quieter. Although it's the same disk as in a computer, the actual the format of the hard drive is not the same. It's some proprietary system for um, known only to Humax. Uh, which means you don't want to do anything like if you put it into a computer, don't format it, and it won't it won't come up as a as a normal hard drive. You have to you there is a utility available you can get off the net called it's called 9200 T read files. There's there's also a very useful bit of software called um, Video Redo, which will take um, the file the the raw format of the Humax file is. It's a .ts file, which which means transport stream, which is a which is the format of DV, DVB, which means digital video broadcast. DVD is digital video disc, which is what you get on a DVD disc. DVB, it's essentially the same format, the same quality, but it's it's um, sent over the, over the airwaves. Uh, it uses about one gig per hour. So if, if you've recorded a um, if you've recorded a program from so if you've recorded a program on your Humax it well, it may be about one and a half gigs for an hour's worth you can then you copy that over to the computer and you can use Video Redo to, to convert it into a, an MPEG file which you can then play in uh, Windows Media Player.